Yes, you read the title right. We are looking at a pair of beautiful RTA denim jeans. Jeans denim. These are the Clayton midsize pin tuck skinny. I don't see very many or if any videos about these particular pants, the style or this brand or anything. So this is just for you people who are looking for just that because Lord knows everyone likes to look at stuff before they buy, especially in these trying times in America. So these ones are the RTA uh, Clayton, right? Let's see. Yes, the Clayton. Okay. These Clayton jeans are the Amendment Black color. They come in another black, which is like severe black. But I got these ones because they actually show the detailing in the back, which apparently uh, RTA is kind of uh, synonymous and known for this little, like, a, oh, let's see what we can find. Mm -hmm, this little cross right here. So they kind of like Easter egg hide them all over their denim. So like right here and the, the rivet, instead of the round little rivets like this, you get this beautiful T shape. Hence our T A, and also it's in their logo as well. R T A, the T, kind of like this weird cross. I don't know if it's religious in any way. They apparently say they're Japanese denim. However, they are made in America. See, made in the good old U S of A. That's why you're paying that big exorbitant price because people in America don't work for minimum wage or less. They work for way more. So these jeans have RTA stitched inside, or outside, on the left leg right here. It's all actual stitching. So it's very nice. It looks pretty cool if you're into that. See, it's definitely stitched. It's not just like a sewn on, or like, what is it called? Like an iron on little thing or a patch or anything. It's actually sewn on the actual pant leg itself. Now, what really struck me about these jeans is the little cool details. You see right here, they have like these little, like little, um, I don't know, what is it called, pins? Let's see if we can find that particular word if they say that. Well, the details in these particular pants have like these, or at least mostly in this brand, is this like special like pinning that they do. Now, when I bought these jeans, I actually tried a size 30, which I normally am. However, they did not fit. I think you have to go one size up on these because I, I'm not sure if it's due to the pinning that they have or just maybe their sizing in general but it is, it is one size too small. So whatever you are, so if you're a size 30 normal, uh, probably try a 31 for these. That might uh, fit you a little bit better because they fit kind of snug. So the front part of the denim has this little pinning right here, which gives it a nice, you know, not just so like plain look, gives it a little pizzazz, a little tailoring to it. I mean, alongside with the actual stitching. But the real coup de gras, the creme de la creme, the prestige of the actual denim is the back. Where them cheeks are, baby. Look at them cheeks. Woo! So this is another little, like, um, not hidden, but, you know, a little uh, of their calling card is the little T that they got going on. And what they did here is they went all the way down the back of the pant. So it does run all the way down the pant leg, as you can see. All the way down. Now what it is, is actually the, the actual jean itself is actually pinched in and then sewn. Uh, you can see the stitching right here. I don't know how great it is. Hopefully you can see it well enough, but there is a stitching that runs all the way. All the way, all the way. And it's just like that little, it gives it like a little mohawk. Let's see if I can hopefully show it to you. Right here. You see it? You know, it sticks up ever so slightly like that. So it's kind of a cool uh, touch, cool little technique that they got going on. And like I said, that's why I'm assuming they're that one size uh, smaller than normal. Because like I said, size 30, I normally am, but I got these in 31 because they fit kind of snug. And And then the stitching goes all the way to the back pocket and then they actually added the extra little like fold right here. Now it looks like they actually, I can't really describe how they did this, but let, hopefully you can see the detailing. And if you go on their website, you can actually, they actually show, like, accentuate this particular picture of the denim. And what it is, it looks like it's basically folded as well. Just like how this is kind of like pinched, this looks a little pinched as well, and then like kind of like tucked in. So it gives it like, you know, uh, interesting, interesting fold. I don't know how they did it particularly, but it does have it give it a nice effect with the T. As you can see, the T, boom, T all the way down the booty. Well, maybe the thigh, whatever you want to call it. But it'll accentuate them cheeks, let me tell you that. So that's what actually gives these pants that unique look. It's 
little pinching in the back. Very nice, very subtle. It's not too loud, not holes and rips everywhere. And also, this is probably why you wanna get actually this uh, amendment black as opposed to the actual normal black because all this uh, detailing, you can't really see. It's just so deep black that you, you, you just can't see anything. You might as well just be like wearing normal pants. So if you wanna give it, if you want to be able to see the actual styling, stitching, and detail, get the amendment black ones. The pants are a little stretchy, so when you slip your thick thighs into them, oh baby, they hug it all so nice and have a little give too. Hopefully the actual material will hold up over time. You know, it won't get too like, oh, natted and nasty, or at least loose. Loose fibers are no good, but since you pay $305 for this denim, I'm pretty sure they're gonna hold up. So here's a quick, Look at the detailing, see what they look like when you open them up a little bit. Got the little RT, well this tag obviously because I got them at Bloomingdale's. Oddly enough, I found them in Bloomingdale's. Uh, normally Bloomingdale's doesn't carry this. I, actually, the only store I've ever seen that carries this is Barney's. And Barney's doesn't exist. But it does say premium Japanese denim and it is made in the USA. Go figure that out. I really don't understand that, but okay, I'll, I'll take it. I guess they use Japanese technique. Maybe the guy who made it is Japanese, I'm not really sure. Oh, and also a little detail that I kind of glossed over real quick is the stitching down the pants right here. There's an actual double stitch running down right about to, to the pockets. Yeah, about the pockets. Oh, speaking of the pockets, let's see. Let me flip them out real quick. Yeah, the pockets aren't super dupe. The, the material is actually soft. And it's actually not really too scratchy. Normally when you go, well, not normally, but there's a lot of pockets that just, the material that they use on the inside is not that soft and silky. This is actually like pretty, pretty nice. I don't know if it's a nylon or whatnot, but it's definitely, if you put your phone in there, it's not gonna get all scratched up as much as it would with rougher material. So it's pretty nice. And the pocket size is decent. I'm gonna do, Put my hand in. Uh, yeah, put my hand in. And it goes all the way to right here. So it's the detail with the stitching, it goes all the way to the pocket lining, and then it has this little spot right here. I don't know what that, that is, I don't know what it does, but eh, it gives a little extra pizzazz. See, and that's where the double stitching actually stops, and then the rest of it is just like folded in regular seaming or invisible seaming. And then in the, in the Inside of the leg has a double stitching. So it looks pretty nice, pretty clean. For $300, uh, you know, you could probably get different cooler pants. I don't know. This is my first time getting these jeans or this brand. So we'll figure it out. But, oh. And another detail is actually on the button. This particular spot right here is very ribbed. Not sure if they added an extra piece of denim. Oh, no, no, okay, it's actually, it, hmm. I believe it's actual stitching all the way through here. That's interesting, gives it a nice rough texture. It probably helps with like the durability of the pants. You know you're gonna be buttoning and moving this a lot. So it's stitched so hard that it probably won't be getting a too frayed or too messed up right here. So it's kind of a interesting technique right there. Quick look at the belt loops. Belt loops are pretty big, pretty thick. Probably about, uh, I would assume, two inches. So whatever belt that you have, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to hold. I wish they had double uh, loops uh, right here in the back, because always with this one little spot right here, always bends your belt and it looks like you have a duck butt. It's pretty strange, but it's okay. Hopefully these uh, these will last. But they're, yeah, they're really, really big. Really, really big. So whatever belt you have, you can probably fit five belts on them. And it'll be perfectly fine for your donut ass. If this video helped you in any way, do yourself a favor, do your friends a favor, and share the video because sharing is caring, knowledge is power. Share the knowledge of knowing what RTA jeans are like. I would appreciate that. Your friends and family would appreciate that. And yeah, that's just a, you should appreciate it too because you just did a good deed for your day. Enjoy the rest of it, by the way.